Sicilian is the good side. The Jewish wasn't told you. Ah, uh, the Sicilian the is side. the best. Yeah, because the mother said to you... About it being a Jew. Yeah, only the good side. Yeah, yeah. of course. Hand me hell. He fucked that one up too, that little shit. <laughs> well, that's an that's a, that's a Irishman you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Irish and Italian. Yeah. Didn't he just yeah. die? You don't mix them. No, he didn't. You don't mix them together. <laughs> Why not? He'd break your legs and take 20% off. I, Irish and Italian is not, not a good mix. Why? Well, Irish and, well, you know what? A lot of people I know are married. Like, my wife is half Irish. Oh, okay. And a, lot of my, a lot of my friends I know married, you know, the Italian and the Irish. But it's, my experience is not a good mix. Huh? I'm push one up 20 points just now. <laughs> you, know, you know what it is? I'm gonna be honest with you out there in TV land, and you could you could send all the hate mail to me, but I'll tell you why it's not a good mix. It's a good mix in this way: the attraction is there, because the Italians they like the light skin, light eyes. Some you know, Italian men they like that because it's the opposite, you know. And the right. same with, with Italian women, they they go with Irish men, but whatever. But here's the problem: I Italian people especially where I'm from. My mother, that floor was spotless. Dinner was on the table five o'clock. It was a, such a routine. I hate to say it, but the Irish, not so much. You know, I was married to an have, Irish. You can have a dirty house for a, for a month and a half. There's no such thing as cooking and cleaning and all this stuff. My first husband was Irish. Yeah. I got rid of him. Yeah. My second husband was German. <laughs> 